boxes. I look a little shot right now. Nah, I'm playing. Right now, I'm gonna. I hope this mic's working well. Right now, I'm gonna go film my <laughs> my little squishy marshmallow Josiah train that I'm playing. <laughs> that's that's wild. I'm gonna go film my friend Josiah, the future NFL prospect train. For yeah, we've been lagging on it, and then I told them I'm gonna go pick him up about like ten minutes ago. So shit, I'm a little late, and then it'll be fun though. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool little video. I'm a yeah. It's pretty hot out. Let's get to it. All right. Hopefully you could see me good, but it was Sunday. That was like four days ago from today, and I gave my friends a ride to because we went to go eat out, and then it was like. A little bit well all the seats were full kind of and then and uh and i told them like make sure you don't leave no trash behind when i'm dropping you guys off or else i'm gonna beat y'all's ass and then well it was barely like three days ago and i checked the back seat and then and then this is what i find <laughs> it's like two water bottles right there and i mean the floor i don't mind i don't really care it's not like it's not like i'm driving the lambo yet but it's, I saw the water bottles and I was like, oh my gosh, like, these dudes are annoying. <laughs> but it, it was pretty funny. But, but yeah, I, I always expect for it to be like a little bit of a mess in here now. It's so calm in the morning sometimes. Sometimes it's all hectic. But I like it when it's calm. It's like one of the perks of living in a small town. But I'm going to be gone in about seven, eight months maybe. I'm gonna be moving out to Fullerton most likely. If everything goes planned. Should be fun. I'm excited for something new. You know, I've just been working, saving, doing what I like, um, getting school done, you know. But look at this dumbass on the bike. Fucking idiot. I'll beat his ass. But I mean yeah, just been just been enjoying everything lately. It's pretty cool. I'm, I was thinking about doing football for a while, you know, one last time for the college I'm currently going to, which is hard now. But, but I'll probably end up doing boxing for football because I'll probably end up doing boxing because one of my, my left ankle kind of messes up from time to time and then I got to be off of it for like one to two days, depending on how severe it is. And that happens like a good amount of times, to be honest. And then... I don't want people to see it as an excuse for me not to be practicing and shit like that. But also like for myself, like I don't want to mess it up any more than it already is, you know? But Crazy traffic right now. Everybody gets me mad. <laughs> now I'm playing. But I just got to my boy Sia's house. But I mean, shoot. That's how life is right now. It's, it's all right, it's pretty cool. We got a funeral to go to in about two weeks. My guy Pablo's. I'm gonna miss him. This is what I bought Baby Dom this morning. Little girl, but I was gonna eat it myself. Josiah Freeman. You're gonna put these in your fridge. <laughs> Actually, brother. Well, eats normal food now. Yeah? <laughs> it's the intro. Talk to him. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, man, it's fun. Talk to him. Man, talk to him, man. Talk loud, bro. They can't hear you. My nigga, my nigga, he ain't a fucking goblin. Told the foreign don't leave the house without that glizzy I ain't regular no more, young niggas dying in my city They kill it, Steve, I told them boys don't never show no pity But I counted where I'm from, but it get grimy and it's wicked Miss my nigga from the hood, told them to love me from a distance They been the walls and start them, people told me I was gifted Looked up to the older nigga, but I just knew I was gonna be different Watch these nigga around me, I know somebody hating and I feel it Watch these nigga around me, I know somebody ain't happy that I'm shining This shit ain't happen overnight, nigga, you been new, it was grinding I ain't got no heart, but the answer y'all didn't tell me if they find it I'm blowing up, probably why my daddy wanna talk to me in private My mama know I gotta keep her with me, she know that I done been broke for way too long, I wanna go back Ain't 
Too many rainy days, now nah, we just drain more at. Gotta watch out for them snakes, them niggas be fake, they just don't show at. Grind it, you know this ain't happen overnight. Never made no on the roads, who knew my future was so bright? Mama, they pay your son for features, everything gon' be alright. Don't let's deep, that shit just made me a little foreign type. I can't sleep, them demons talking to me every night. Nowadays, can't move wrong, cause these niggas ain't living right. I'm paranoid, that's why I'm steady clutching at the light. 1500 for the glizzy, my brother be mad if I die. Told the foreign don't leave the house without that glizzy. I ain't regular no more, young niggas dying in my city. They kill it, Steve. I told them boys don't never show no pity. But I counted where I'm from, but it get grimy and it's wicked. Miss my nigga from the hood, told him to love me from a distance. They been the walls and start them, people told me I was gifted. Looked up to the older nigga, but I just knew I was gonna be different. Watch these niggas around me, I know somebody hating and I feel it. Hurt, what it do? I went crazy on that motherfucker. You still think about me and don't like the way that I live. Still can't figure out the way my heart is. She not in my problem. He's alone and not much love. He ain't got none. Daddy Papa came over. Come out the window, hang over. So I'm trying to put that shit on when I'm starting. Okay, turn the phone off to my whole grand turn on Rich and he ain't got no mind, what's wrong? I got the money, I change my persona Bulletproof whip, I'm gon' hit the corner, I'm in Standing on top of these niggas, yeah Mama, you got it, I did it, yeah On top of the mountains with me, wow My kids gon' have it and get it I just might go by my sister's bed I just might get my gun for the ticket She know I'm a thug, nigga I got hitters and I got drugs in From the bottom and I grew up in it I come home from jail and they wanna put slugs in Cause I'm standing on business, don't fuck with them, not a percentage The penny got flares in it Switch the wheels and you know they gon' rub this From the gutter and still in the mud with it Double law, I take the top off that motherfucker I pull up in that rover, it's chalk color Up inside the go yard, that's a dirty color I done ran up that fatty on all these niggas Bullets run like confetti, you play with it Come from walking with hoes inside my tennis I come to some goals, ain't playing tennis Come on, slam you still think about me and don't like the way that I live Still can't figure out the way my heart is She not in my problem He's alone and not much love, he ain't got none Daddy Papa came over Come out the window, hang over So I'm trained put that shit on when I'm starting Yeah, yeah, whole lot of bitches A hundred bands, like ten thousand, uh for drawing. <laughs> I never use it. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Freeman, introduce yourself, sir. My name's... Ah, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I already had a place for this one. Alright, this is... Alright, go ahead and introduce yourself. This is a football interview slash personal interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Josiah Freeman. I play at Hardnell Community College. And I'm finishing out my last year. I'll be done in December. My first question off the top of my head without writing anything is how do you feel going into this final season in the in in this com in the final season of your community college football team and almost leaving Soledad? I feel great. I'm like feel more prepared than I ever felt. I feel like it's gonna be a great season for the team and for myself as well. It's gonna be exciting to 
get out, get it, move out, see something new, place somewhere new. I uh, can't wait. Personally, how do you feel yourself like moving away from a small town like this that we've been here for a good amount of time? It's gonna be, it's gonna feel different at first. I might miss it a little bit because it's where we grew up since we were since a kid. Like this is all we knew, this area we knew. But um, I'm I'm ready for something new for, to experience something new, meet new people, new environment. Just keep playing football. For sure, for sure. Do you? What are your short-term goals? Like about two of them, and then two of your long-term. My short-term goals right now. Uh, I've really been focused on school right now. I'm trying to get that 3.0, 4.0 GPA. Um, uh, just trying to have a great season, get a couple more Division One offers. Long-term goals is have a great career playing college, wherever I play, wherever I end up playing, and eventually make it to the NFL. Those are my goals. Mm -hmm. I hope so, too. As of today, today is May 26th, Thursday. And it's about 1.50 p.m. How many offers do you have on the table so far? I currently have uh, five Division One offers. Western Kentucky, North Texas, Nevada, Utah State, and Texas State. Nice. Aside from football, how do you, how do you feel having the support of your family and your friends around here? It feels great. It just pushes me even more knowing that I got everyone behind me supporting me. My, f my friends, family, and even the community all supports me, so it just pushes me to go harder, for yeah. sure. What do you like to do for fun? For like fun? Three things off the top of your head. Uh, I like to hang with the bros whenever they're here back <laughs> in town. I like to chill right here, or I just like to listen to music. That's really like what I like to do. Top three rappers? Uh, NBA Youngboy. NBA young boy and NBA <laughs> young boy. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right. Off the top of your head, uh, how did you enjoy your childhood with all your family, all your friends, your elementary school years, middle school, and up to high school? How did you, how did you think your experience went throughout all this time? It was great. Like our family's like huge, so like I was never like I never felt alone. I was always with my cousins, and my uncles, aunts, and grandma. Like. There was always something to do with them. Like even if we like didn't have nothing, like we always just found a way to have fun. Like it was just a blessing growing up with such a big family. Talking about your cousins, you have uh, two funny ones, Peyton and Jason. What do you? How do you feel about Peyton? How um he's a he's a phenomenal athlete too. Like um how how is he looking right now? Is he going to a school in the future? Or what are your uh, thoughts? Playing with Payne was great. Like uh, I felt blessed to be able to play uh, one season with him before uh, he's taking he take it, he taking off to another school. Uh, we had a good season. I felt like we both did pretty good, and I can't wait to see what he does in uh, Oklahoma. At uh, I can't remember what the school is called. For sure, for sure. Um, the best trip you've ever taken so far in your life. Definitely Hawaii in 2019 with the basketball team my senior year. Oh man, that was all jokes. Was... Do you remember who you slept with? Or not slept with, but do you remember who you roomed with in that Hawaii trip? Yeah, yeah I roomed with my, my best friend Axel. We had like a, a whole bed, a big bed. I slept on the edge. He had, I gave him all this space, somehow he still ended up right next to me. I don't know. I don't move when I sleep, but he always says that. Mm. All right. Can you tell me more about your day-to-day -day responsibi responsibilities when it's not summer break like right now, when when it's a full-on football season, when it's school? Like, how do you handle all your busy schedule? Well, we're in the season, so this upcoming season uh, will be in the fall. I'm really just trying to make sure I take care of my schoolwork, first of all, and then uh, just balling out on the field, being there, working hard at practice and in the classroom. And that's pretty much that will pretty much be my day to day routine when the uh, fall comes around. Do you have any pet peeves? Uh, I don't like when people chew with their mouth open, and uh, when they're just too loud for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> what expectations do you have yourself, or goals on a day to day basis? 
Uh, I feel like I could just get better each and every day. That would be on the field, off the field, better as a person, better as an athlete. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to be the best person possible. Mm -hmm. If this video somehow gets past our friend group and and somehow like more like coaches start watching this, do you want to name your height and weight for the for right now, which is Thursday, May twenty sixth? My current height is one ninety five. I'm six three, and I run a four three. This year. Four, four. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, definitely be invisible. <laughs> yeah. Or to stop time when you're in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Favorite childhood memory? Definitely. I used to have, we used to live, I used to live across the street from the guy behind the camera and we had a basketball court. I had a basketball court in my house and I would just watch my two other cousins paint and just and play one-on-one -on -one, and it would never make it to them. They would just start fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite food growing up? My favorite food? It was, it is Hamburger Helper and it still is Hamburger Helper now. Yeah. What's one of you, do you have any favorite quotes? My favorite quotes, favorite quotes, favorite quotes, favorite quotes. I have a lot. I don't think I could be one off the top. Top of my two head. movies. Top two movies. My favorite movie. Uh, Red Dawn, and mm, a movie called Platoon. There's just movies I grew up watching. And favorite shows, at least two or three. Favorite show, Stranger Things, coming out new season coming out Friday. Can't wait for that. Uh, Riverdale. <laughs> 